Over the last 10 years, I've helped hundreds of B2B companies generate pipeline and revenue from LinkedIn ads. And through my software Fibbler, we track results for over 300 companies actively running LinkedIn ads, which means I see exactly what works when it comes to campaigns, formats, and strategies. Now, most people think LinkedIn ads are either too expensive or too complicated to be worth it, but the truth is, LinkedIn ads is the best advertising platform for B2B sales and service companies. If you know how to use it. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything you need to know to run successful LinkedIn ad campaigns as a complete beginner, from setting up your account to choosing the right ad formats, targeting the right audience, and finally measuring what actually drives pipeline and revenue. Let's dive in. Most campaigns don't fail because of targeting or budget. They simply fail because people scroll past anything that feels like an ad. So here's three steps to making people actually remember your ads. Step one, start with emotion. Emotion. Say something your audience already feels. Make them nod before you ever mention your product and build credibility by saying something bold enough that they have to keep reading and always write like no one's ever heard of you before. That's key. Step two, use distinctive brand assets. It can be your logo, your color, your mascot. They should show up in every ad and it's not about the design, it's about recall, having them remember you. Most people forget your ad in two seconds if nothing feels familiar. Here. Step three, refresh your creatives less often. You'll get tired of your ads long before your audience does and repetition really builds memory. Good LinkedIn ads pull people in and make them remember you until they're ready to buy. Now, when you actually write your ad copy, make sure to keep it conversational and skip all the jargon. End with something that gives people a dopamine hit. All right, so when you first come on to the LinkedIn campaign manager, you create your campaign and in your campaign, you create your first ad set and an ad set is basically all the detail that goes into your campaign what LinkedIn should optimize for who you want to target how much you want to budget everything that comes before actually creating ads and I wanted to run through my recommendations and kind of an overview of what everything means here so you come on to your ad set here um, you will first select an objective and it's extremely important it is basically what LinkedIn ads will optimize your ads for. Um, we have a couple of different ones. Brand awareness is the first one and it means that LinkedIn will optimize to reach as many people as possible within your audience. And to the right here you can see the target audience size that you have and this is what I currently have which we will narrow down further. Uh, we have website visits uh, which is the most commonly used objective I'd say across LinkedIn ads and it is what it says basically. It will optimize to drive people to your website. We have engagement it will optimize to drive engagement on your ads, likes, comments, company follows, and so on. We have video views, so if you're running videos, it will optimize for having as many people as possible view your videos. And then we go on to more bottom funnel or conversion objectives. We have lead generation, which is basically optimizing for driving leads. So these are informs on the LinkedIn platform. And then website conversions, which is similar, but instead of driving leads on the LinkedIn platform, it's driving leads on your website. So that can be signups, that can be demos and so on. I recommend always starting out with website visits. It's somewhere in between awareness and conversion and always a good first step. And it's also a great thing to have when you further down compare results across um, formats because result and when we compare metrics these will differ across these objectives and we will talk later about that when we've chosen website visits we will go down to our audience and it's here we really select our targets so who are we trying to reach here our ICP and the people at our ICP that we want to sell to um, so here I am going to change to the United States um, I want to target the United States important to note as a standard it always select recent or permanent location which basically means that I will target anyone that lives within the US but that have also visited the US in the nearest term and um, we of course only want to target people living in the US so we're changing this to permanent location um, further than that we want to unbox something called audience expansion audience expansion is basically that it takes all of our targeting that we have selected and then it expands it to lookalikes across LinkedIn to kind of broaden the audience and we don't want 
want that. We want to target the people who actually want to reach. So we will unbox that. And then furthermore, we of course don't only want to target the US as a country, but we want to narrow our audience. I recommend using first a few company demographical things. Company size is typically the first one. I want to target SMB companies between 50 and 500 employees. Perfect. I want to also target specific industries. I want to target software companies. Um, make, all, make sure also that it says and here and not or to make sure that we are including these ones together. Um, so that's the second one. So now we are targeting, you can see here to the right, about a million or so companies uh, in the SMB space, which is what Fibler is targeting as an example. But we don't want to target everyone at these companies, which is why we also add uh, job experience and job title things. We want to target demand generation managers here, and we might want to target heads of marketing. Make sure it says and here again. And now we have 12,000 people in our audience. Could be a healthy pool to start with. I recommend somewhere between 20 to 50,000 people in your audience to start with if you're if you're new. Um, so here you can see we have our SMB targeting. We're targeting demand generation managers and heads of marketing. But note here that these titles doesn't necessarily mean that they will only include titles like this. A head of marketing, as an example, uh, is what we call a super title. And super titles are comprised of hundreds of different titles that are near that title. And why is that, you might wonder. It's because, of course, titles and title that people put in on LinkedIn is customizable. So people put in a lot of different titles and LinkedIn has to narrow them down somehow to, to help us target. So just beware, this is something you can look at later in terms of results to look at audience demographics in order to see what are the real titles that are actually seeing these. Uh, but here we're happy with the targeting, we're happy with the audience size, so on. We will then go down to ad format. And apart from the objective, the ad format and the targeting uh, is obviously the, the second most important thing. I will just run through quickly what these different ones mean. Single image ads is the most popular ad format on LinkedIn. It's the one you typically see when you scroll on your feed. It's uh, typically square images. You have something in there and that's a single image ad. It can also be sponsoring a personal post. That's called a thought leader ad. It's still a single image ad, but it's also a thought leader ad. So that's the difference. Either you create your own creative or you sponsor employees or other people into single image ads. Then we have carousel images. You most likely know what this is. This is the carousels you can scroll through. We have video, similar to the single image thing. When you scroll through, video is very popular to use, of course, and an engaging format, but it's typically more resource heavy than, than images to create. Text is a format, a small format that's on the right side of LinkedIn, where you can get your logo and your message in front of your buyers. And it's very cheap compared to the other ad format. So I, I recommend doing that. Then we have Spotlight similar to text it's on the right side and it's also a way to get your brand and a message in front of your buyers uh, and then we have conversation and message ads which is also very personal ad formats it's a way to send messages to people's inbox it's typically formats that are great to use in combination with for example thought leader ads or single image ads and then after that have conversation ads and message ads that actually send something to the inbox but I recommend always starting out with a single image ad either you create your own image ad you can use canva you can use a design partner or whatever to do so or you simply find a great post from one of your employees leadership team or customers and sponsor it as a thought leader ad those are the two first recommendations i have now before i continue if you're finding this valuable and you want to learn more about advanced linkedin ad strategies and tactics and how to make this channel profitable make sure you subscribe to my channel because a lot more videos are coming. Next, we come on to placement and we need to make sure we unbox uh, this LinkedIn audience network. It basically means that it will take all of our ads, put it on LinkedIn, but also on other third party sites that they have in their uh, publishing network. And we don't want that. We want to keep everything on LinkedIn. Good. Then we come to budget. Uh, I think this is a bit too much to me. I will spend $100 per day. This is, of course, very, very dependent on your, your budget and so 
on but i recommend maybe starting out with you can start out with as low as ten dollars and that is completely fine but just start and increase as you see results um, but i would start out with a hundred dollars and then you come to bidding uh, worth to note here is that linkedin is a real-time bidding platform so every time you want to have something show on the linkedin side you are bidding for that spot as a standard we're always using max delivery and it will always bid the highest it can in order to spend your full budget budget which is great if you have an endless amount of budget but most of us don't have that so i recommend always using what we call manual bidding i also recommend removing this enable bid adjustment for high value clicks because uh, it's a way for linkedin to optimize for what they think is high value clicks but i think we need to do this manually instead and here we have a recommended bidding level and you can also see what other advertisers are bidding against a similar audience as ours i recommend taking these numbers and taking two-thirds of that and using that as our bid and i'm not superb with math but my guess is it's somewhere around here so 24 dollars is what we what we bid for each ad to go out there or for each landing page click i should say and that is the optimization thing which shows when we selected our objective website visit we are optimizing for people to click to our landing page and so we're gonna bid this and the result from doing this is almost always that you get the same results at just a lower cost when that is done we are ready with our campaign with our ad set and we are ready to get started on actually creating our ads once you start running your linkedin ad campaigns you need to know if it's actually work and most companies only track the last click before the conversion and that completely misses how linkedin really drives business because here's the problem only 0.04 percent of people on linkedin actually click on ads that means that 99.6 percent of your audience is invisible if you only look at clicks and what really happens is this buyers are seeing your ads multiple times week over week month over month they remember your brand and then when they are ready to buy something they go to google and they search for your name or go directly to your website the crm will say that it came from google or direct but i mean it was linkedin that created that awareness in the first place and linkedin's native reporting only tracks clicks and conversions and focus on last click attribution and it completely undervalues your top of the funnel campaigns here um, and the result is that you can't justify your ad spend to executives and that's exactly why i built fibler fibler connects your linkedin ads data directly directly to your CRM. It tracks impressions and engagement, not just clicks. And when a deal is created in the CRM, it shows you that company's full journey with your ads. So if you want to see which campaigns are driving pipeline and revenue, click the first link in the description to start using Fibler for free, no credit card required. So again, click the link below to try it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.